Okay, so this is something I meant to do a video on ages ago and totally forgot to. So I got a new one of these little line-in speakers to do it. So what this is, is a while ago, I think it was from Anything Radioactive, I bought this little thing. And all this is, is something that plugs into a DP66 Polish Geiger counter from the Cold War. And then once that's in there, uh, you plug it into any other auxiliary socket. Because obviously you've just got your little auxiliary cable, the actual adapter's just literally two of those pins to a regular female auxiliary one. A bit like the ones they do for the CDV700. And then you can get a Polish DP66 Geiger counter to actually um, have a decent loudspeaker other people can hear. Um, so I've got it with one of these like charge up, you know, little Bluetooth speakers, but I'm using it via the auxiliary, so that'll be loud enough for this. So let's put it from the control um, sort of test mode onto um, 0.5. As you can hear, every time that ticks, you actually get a noise coming out of there. So it's actually quite cool because you means other people can hear the DP66. So let's get some of these, which despite being brand new box ones, are actually Thorium. So As you can see, that speaker actually works. It makes quite a good little Geiger counter crackle. Um, it might be a bit stronger through the back of the packet, actually. Yeah, it is. And what I'll do is I'll quickly get another check source so you can hear how loud this actually gets or the sort of solid tone if you get a really radioactive thing next to it. Right, so there we go. We've got my strongest check source over there, a DP2 source, although the one I've got is actually very weak compared to some of the ones you'll see on YouTube. But still, let's put this on its lowest mode over there. What I'm just going to do is put this up to the highest reading where it will actually get a measurement for it. I'm not sure if this tube picks up beta. No, it doesn't. So I need to go to the uh, 50 milli Ronken max one. But... The interesting thing of this is you'll notice the Geiger counter's clicking tone changes with each of the... Um... Let me just get a good angle for this. So you put about there, so you'll notice that the pitch gets higher with each of the ranges. I don't know if that's deliberate or if that's, um, and again, I d yeah, sounds like it's even slightly higher pitch on that one. The weird thing is, I think it actually gets a higher reading there because of any breaking radiation coming off of that like that. Which has actually be an interesting thing to test. So let's just flip that upside down like that. Put that there. And it's still not any higher. Yeah, there you go. Classic Geiger counter. noises. But I do like that beefy clunk you get there. So yeah, with one of those things from anything radioactive, you can make a DP66 actually sound like a classic Geiger counter for other people to hear, which is always good in videos, because of the little headphone, people won't be able to hear it. 